It's that time of year. Pop-up storms can happen at any given moment, so you need to be prepared. Storm Team 10's David Seifel has what you need to know. Electricity, no doubt, plays a vital part in our everyday lives. When a disruption happens, it can seem like your world shuts down even if it's only temporary. It is an inconvenience that we are usually unprepared for. Having a preparedness kit is top priority. Non-perishable food, water, a flashlight, your weather radio, and even spare prescriptions should be included in your kit. Rick Berger with Duke Energy explains what you should do if you have a medical condition that requires electricity for your care. If they have a medical condition, they need to call Duke Energy before we have a storm and let us know that and they can be put on a priority list. Now changing gears to after the storm, if the power does go out, do not open your refrigerator. This will help keep the cold air in your refrigerator longer, keeping your food from going bad. If you notice damage outside and notice power lines down, do not go near them. Duke Energy urges you to call them if you see any lines down. So let's take my house for example. I have two lines coming into my house. One is my electricity from Duke Energy and the other which is below it, the cable and internet line to my house. Now if either one is down, if I still call Duke Energy, they will take care of the problem. One major problem that may occur is if my electricity line falls on top of my cable and internet line. That cable line can become energized and can be very dangerous to the appliances inside your home. As soon as you see a problem, make that phone call to Duke Energy. One thing that this community does well for Duke Energy, and i just like to compliment them, they are our eyes and ears out there. So yes, your calls to Duke Energy are very important when it comes to power outages, but remember, if your power is out, many others will have their power out as well. Being prepared and staying calm during these unexpected events can go a long way in keeping you and your family safe. In my house, I'm Storm Team 10 Meteorologist David Seipel. Back to you.